The Victorian era, marked by the expansive reign of Queen Victoria from 1837 to 1901, was an age of contrasts, sweeping social reforms, burgeoning industrialization, and an insatiable appetite for both opulence and the macabre. Beneath the grandeur and elegance of Victorian fashion, homes and culture lay a deadly secret, a fascination with arsenic. This potent poison, it seems, was as omnipresent as the era's iconic top hats and crinolines. But what was it about arsenic that captivated an entire generation? Let's embark on a tantalizing journey through the Victorian age's venomous infatuation. For the Victorians, green was more than just a color. It was a status symbol. The brighter and more vivid the shade, the more en vogue you were considered. Enter Schiel's green and emerald green, two stunning hues derived from arsenic compounds. From evening gowns to gloves these vibrant tints were all the rage. The peril, however, was twofold. Not only did those who wore these garments risk skin poisoning, but the artisans who crafted them were in frequent perilous contact with the deadly pigment. Yet the Victorians' passion for beauty was such that even as reports surfaced of illness and death linked to the green garments, the trend persisted. Wallpapers in Victorian homes weren't just about aesthetics, they were a testament to one's refined taste and social standing. And nothing was quite as refined as walls adorned with arsenic-infused patterns. These exquisite designs, however, concealed a lethal truth. When exposed to humidity and mildew, arsenic-laden wallpapers could release toxic vapors. Entire families fell mysteriously ill, exhibiting symptoms ranging from headaches to respiratory distress. Yet many were blissfully ignorant of the dangers, ensnared by the era's aesthetic ambitions. The Victorian beauty ideal was all about pale, porcelain-like skin. To achieve this otherworldly pallor, many women turned to cosmetics laced with arsenic, dubbed arsenic complexion wafers, these products promised to erase freckles, blemishes, and give the skin a milky whiteness. Of course, the implications were hazardous. Chronic exposure led to a range of maladies from skin lesions to severe organ damage. Yet such was the Victorian era's dedication to beauty ideals that these risks were often deemed secondary. The paradox of arsenic was that while it could kill, it was also believed to heal. Many Victorians sipped tonics like Fowler's Solution, which contained arsenic, to treat ailments from asthma to cancer. Sold as a rejuvenating elixir, this poisonous potion was believed to invigorate the body. Many swore by its healing properties attributing miraculous recoveries to this deadly ingredient. Beyond fashion, decor and health, arsenic had a darker role in Victorian society. A tool for murder.